Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Marvelous Monday, the first day of the work week for some of us uh, that only work Monday through Friday. Quick mail day, what's weird is uh, I got one package before the other, and just because the way it was shipped, I got the later one before the other one. I don't know. Kind of weird. I had one guy ship uh, on a Friday to me, then he reshipped something else on a Saturday, and the Saturday's already got here. This shows postal systems all crazy right now. Uh, looking at this week before I get in the mail day, uh, I'm gonna come live Friday night to just to open up a little soccer with everybody, and then I'll be available for a little bit of personals in case anybody wants anything. Uh, Saturday, Monster Den break. More than likely, it's gonna be baseball because I think everybody's kind of like backing away from football for some reason right now. But we'll end up doing two boxes of Topps Chrome Jumbo, the last two in that case, and a box of Bowman Sapphire. That's with the Dominguez Rookie, Witt Rookie, um, Lou Bob Space. All that stuff is just so uh, worth so much money if you get it graded. So I think that's what we're going to do for a smaller mixer into there. But with no other uh, information, we think uh, BST should be up tonight for us doing the beta. I, I, there was something else that was all I was thinking of too, and I just totally forgot. I'm just a little fried from work today. Anyway, I was in a break on uh, Friday, uh, Jacob's Spectra break. I won the uh, Dolphins for 50 bucks. Didn't do too bad. You got this right at the bat. This is really cool looking to a building blocks this should be out of 25 number one out of 25 I don't know what jersey number he is offhand either hmm, what else would show it oh maybe it's number one might be jersey numbered because now I look there I don't it's either he's either one or seven now I also hit this here this is the RPA I forget what they're calling this here something Somebody called a hype. The last one sold for three fifty raw. It's numbered out of seventy five. So really, really nice piece right there. Uh, that's going to go in the old uh, pile back here to hold for a rainy day. And hopefully, I mean, you got to look. He's the only rookie quarterback right now whose completion rate is one hundred percent. He's two for two. Yeah. <laughs> Now, right, last up, we got a little Zion Williamson. This here, I won a Raz on Friday night. This is from Mosaic. It's the Reactive Blue. I kind of like these. I know it's the NBA debut one of him, but it's still a real nice piece to have. Uh, I forget what these are worth around. Let me look here real quick. Uh, I didn't write it down. I'm guessing this is probably around 150 ish, maybe more. I don't know. I, I really don't remember what I want, to be honest. But a really cool piece uh, to hold on to right now while basketball. Uh, it just needs to be held until the season starts again. A lot of people are spazzing. Oh, the market's crashing. No, it's just, it went up way too much and now it's starting to settle down some. And you'll start noticing. It's going to go back to now how the player's performing on how the cards fluctuate in price. So you're just not going to see every single card out there because people just went out there and just went crazy, go all the way up high. You're going to start seeing them to where, like, example, Lucas starts the season off first couple weeks. He's, you know, hitting them uh, double doubles, triple doubles. You'll start seeing his prices going up a little bit. Um, unless it's something where a guy wasn't worth a lot, like we just say R.J. Barrett goes out there and crushes it, then his stuff may jump up a lot more than you would see, you know, Luca right off the bat. But a uh, good time to buy back in if you were smart when the market was way crazy high and you sold. Probably getting them cards back right now, about buying them back around 70, 75, maybe 80% of what they were sold for. So you make a little extra cash, get your card back. And probably reinvest in something else. Maybe you got some home improvements done. Who knows? But, I don't know. Just a real quick mail day. Only these two items came in. I only got two or three other things coming in the mail this week. So, 
I might just hold off on those to be another mail day, but I want to kind of give you guys a schedule for the week. So I'll probably end up doing one more video during a week or two, depending on how it plays out. Um, Friday I'll come live, we'll open up a little bit of soccer. Shouldn't be long, maybe half hour, hour live. And then Saturday, if you guys are part of the Facebook group, The Monster Den, come in there, I'll be running another basketball mixer. It'll be probably about couple hours cheaper, I believe, than what I ran this weekend. And Sunday will be an off day as always. I'm just pretty much been using Sundays just to ship and relax now and get ready to start coming into the holiday season where everybody starts buying and buying and buying and buying. So it, it's always a different part of the season. If, you, if you're a seller, you understand where I'm at with that stuff. This is kind of like I call it like the calm before the storm happens because like right after halloween it just starts picking up more and more and more and more especially i've heard that certain states are not doing black friday so everything's going to be online so a lot, a lot of shipping a lot of shipping guys a lot of shipping um that's pretty much it i was just looking to see if i had anything else here because i've like really uh trimmed down a lot of cards that we used to be sitting off to my side here so Yep, I think that's about it. Hopefully you guys have an outstanding week this week. If you guys need anything, hit me up. Um, yeah, I'll be live Friday night. Not too sure what time. If you guys want to buy into a personal, you can. Other than that, have a good week. See you all later.